What is up, everybody? This is Tyler Stephen 200 Early Spring News, and this is going to be an interesting video. Right here is an old computer, not really that old, but it's a computer that I own. And I know you're probably wondering, that's a computer. <laughs> it is a computer, actually. My friends are probably wondering, well, well, some of my friends have noticed, I know Does Sam Nudge knows about this machine, a couple other people do, but this is the Alphabox Portable. Now the Alphabox Portable is a computer in here that I built from uh, pretty much scratch. And the motherboard originates from a, uh, a Dell Inspiron N5040 that was completely destroyed. I, I, I've never seen a laptop so mangled in my life and still work. The, the whole thing was just destroyed. There was no, there was like a, it was tossed on the side of the road. The screen was completely bent in half. Um, the battery was missing, there was no RAM, there was no hard drive, so obviously someone got to it, some uh, some people stripped it down. It didn't have anything, it was just destroyed, but the processor was still in it. And uh, I basically looked at it, looked at it around, and the uh, I said, okay, this might actually still be uh, usable. And I had the Inspiron uh, N5010, which is the uh, the little brother of this thing. Anyway, whoa, autofocus freaked out. Anyhow, I just said to myself, okay, I'm going to bring this thing home. It looks like an interesting project, and I uh, made a case for it. This is an old toolbox case. And excuse the cardboard. I was originally going to paint over that and make it vinylish, but I never got to it. I was going to say, okay, I'm going to take this home, maybe make a new case for it, because I like doing this kind of stuff. And I had a computer called the Alphabox, which had Intel HD Graphics 3000, uh, a Core i, it used to have a Pentium, but I upgraded to a Core i5 after modifying the BIOS, which was a bitch. And I, um, what else did it have? It had a 120 gigabyte SSD, 8 gigabytes, or no, I think it either had 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, somewhere in between there. Or some, one of those two. I know it had 8 and then I upgraded at one point, I don't remember what it had when it died. Anyhow, that machine was really nice, and then I had massive cooling issues with the Core i5, so I mounted a, uh, a really large fan, and then the fan broke, so the bearings started screaming for their life, and I know Dustin Nudge will remember what I mean by it screaming for its life. It was loud. And I remember one day the fan just died, and I didn't even know it. I was in the other room, and the computer cooked itself to death. The, uh, the Core i5 survived, but the whole... Um, the whole, what's the name, the whole chipset right here was melted and it was destroyed. So, um, the whole motherboard was trash, basically, and it would no longer work anymore because, uh, it, it overheated itself. But I still have the case and the, uh, guts for that. Anyhow, this was the portable version of that. And anyhow, basically what I did with this one is, um, this one, it was its little brother that I used in the portable version. And what I mean by portable is, uh, basically it's got a little handle on it. You could carry this thing and use it as a portable server use. That was the original intention of it. And I did actually host Minecraft servers off of this thing for a good period of time. And I was pretty good at that. With the quad-core uh, anabridge or whatever it was. I don't remember what it was. But it's a quad-core uh, third... No, it's either a first or second generation Core i3 quad-core. Sadly, it's an i3, so it didn't have speed step. Or, I mean, it didn't have Turbo Boost, because Turbo Boost, when hosting a server, can be really nice, because you have that extra kick in it, where basically, if you uh, encounter a heavy load, it can just kick itself into overdrive and just get the work done. The CPU is clocked at 2.53 gigahertz. This thing used to have 8 gigabytes of RAM, but I uh, kind of... Whoa, come on. I kind of stole it. <laughs> I stole the 8 gigs and put it into another laptop that I had. And then I don't know what happened because I remember I took the 8 gigs out of there and I downgraded it to 6 in that laptop. And I did something with the RAM that was supposed to be in here. So um, I don't know where I put it. It'll come up eventually. 
But um, I gotta find it. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but when I do find it, I'll uh, put the RAM back in here. But I noticed something weird. This machine used to accept um one. It was, what was it? It was like 1.2 gigahertz uh, RAM. It, okay, it used to accept it pretty good, and now it won't. It'll only accept uh, 800 megahertz RAM. So I've, it kind of sucks because uh, where is it? I've got all this RAM right here that I'm trying to get to work, and it didn't. It just doesn't work. So uh, that was really weird. I've only got one gigabyte of RAM in here, which is crap. Come on, focus. I hate this. These Sony Handycams, you know, they don't really like to focus. The fan I actually had to modify because um, it broke and it was overheating. And I didn't notice it was broken, so I had to re-solder the uh, connections to the fan. And bam, it started working just fine again. Well, I was lucky. Uh, I was able to solder that back. Now, this thing used to have a power-on system where this thing right here in the front, as you might see it right here, you used to be able to turn this and it would flip this thing in here and it would actually power it on in those terminals down there, right there. But, um, I, something, I happened and I ripped the thing off and it wasn't able to power itself up again with that. And you couldn't short it on, it was completely just destroyed. So, I said to myself, Okay, I'm not giving up hope yet. This thing might have that thing because most Dell machines, if you pull the clock battery out of them and you plug them in, they'll turn right on. I said, this machine might have that capability. Pulled the clock battery, it plugged it in, fired up. I'm like, oh, thank God. So anyway, you're probably wondering, what do I... This thing used to have an optical drive right here, but I broke the terminals because I was an idiot and I tried pulling in and putting a, a Blu-ray drive in it and I fucked it up. So, nice going for me, huh? I was really pissed off at that because I this having an optical drive is a very nice thing to have on here. Being that I use this computer to go, like, I used to carry this with me to fix uh, people's computers and stuff on the go. And I was pissed when it broke. So, um, that, that's, there goes the optical drive, so I just put a cardboard thing. And for the hard drive, you guys are going to laugh. You might know the Xbox 360. Well, that's the hard drive for it. <laughs> I was stuck in an Xbox 360 hard drive. This thing used to have a 120 gigabyte SSD, but I needed the SSD for something else. So I put a 500 gigabyte Hatchy drive in it, and then I needed that drive for something else. So I threw in the Xbox 360 hard drive. And that's uh, not the fastest drive out there. Definitely not a performer, but it gets the job done. And for the power supply, um, it, I had the adapter... And I didn't have, I, it was a standard, like, Dell 60 watt power supply, but then I just said, screw it, I'm not going to mount one of those in here. So I took, like, a, a generic, uh, hypo power supply, and I hot-wired it to the terminals, and that worked fine. And, um, it works. It actually does work, and the Wi-Fi. Now, the antennas were in the screen, but what I did was I ripped out the antennas, and I have aluminum foil under this tape, and I actually wired it to the aluminum foil, so the antennas... Because basically receivers, uh, or not receivers, um, yeah, it was, re I guess it's not receivers, but, uh, anyhow, basically Wi-Fi cards, they only work to a certain length, and I got that length perfected with the aluminum foil, and it just, it, it actually works pretty damn good. I'm very proud of myself for the, uh, achieving Wi-Fi rig I got in here. So that, that's what all these wires over here are for. That's the Wi-Fi antenna. So I was pretty smart what I did, uh, doing that. Now... I don't normally have this a dedicated monitor to this machine. It just usually sits in storage, and if I need to uh, bring it out or something, I can do so with it. And basically, what I'm going to be hooking it up to is my Panasonic TV out in the living room, the 47-inch. Let me turn it on. We're just going to hook it up here, so um, I'll uh, start the video when I get it hooked up. All right, I'm back. I got it hooked up, and I forgot to talk about the I.O. So first off, you got your heat sink right there. You've got a gigabit Ethernet, VGA, HDMI, USB 2, and two a microphone and headphone port. And above those are two uh, two more USB 2s, and you've got your plug there. So anyhow, what we're going to do is, like I said, just to power this thing on, you go ahead and you just plug it in. She should fire right up. Now, the hard drive can be a bit touchy. Sometimes you need to push it in a little bit harder. So if it does give us that issue, which it looks like it might, or not, this machine has Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit on it, and it used to have 64-bit when I originally had the uh, Hatchy drive in there, but that was mainly because I had 8 gigs of RAM. Honestly, you don't need more than, uh, you don't need 64 if you're only utilizing less than 3 gigs, or 3 or less, you know, or 4, technically. So, 32-bit's not really a problem with me. I don't really, of course, this is a server machine, so, you know, 
It's kind of stupid if you think about it. And it is on the domain network, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And I forgot to... It looks like the last time I set this up, I forgot to uh, set the custom... Um... Oh, what the freak? Does that not work? Okay, that does. I guess the one of the alt or the control on this side don't work. So let me go ahead and log in for you. Oops, wrong password. This keyboard's really crappy. God damn it. How many times can it fill out a password? I don't know. There we go. I'm logging into the domain administrator account, and the reason why is because I have to do something. So it's very basic, you got nothing really too extreme on here. And it does have Intel HD Graphics uh, 3000 on here, but uh, it's not the good HD Graphics 3000. I'm going to tell you, it's pretty bad. Either the driver for the graphics is bad, or just the graphics chip is just underclocked, underrated, and it's just a piece of shit. There's just no way that this is uh, HD Graphics 3000 in here. It's, it can't be. And HD Graphics 3000, I know as a fact, was nowhere near as bad as this. So we're going to go ahead and just do something here. Uh, this is the network drive that I was fixing stuff with. Um, which one is it? Okay, here it is. Copy this. What's in there? Yeah, it's not... Did I fix the registry? Well, I did now. Lock. There we go. Oh, sorry, you didn't even see any of that. <laughs> Whoops. Anyhow, I've got. I've just fixed it, so now I will go ahead and. Oh crap! I'm gonna log back in. Great. The username or password is bad. This keyboard is really crappy, guys. I can't even stress it enough. One of the keys on here does not want to type. Okay, there we go. So, you're probably wondering, well, what about the task manager, you know? This thing has a, uh, I forgot, Anadel. That's what it is. It's an Anadel i3. That's what it is. Just came to me. And as you can see right here, barely any utilization. It's pretty much running idle. Now, obviously, RAM-wise, it's not really packing much RAM-wise, but processor-wise, the Core i3 in this thing is pretty powerful. It's a quad-core i3. Basically, nothing is being used on here. It's really, really nice. And um, I do have Wi-Fi on here, just a standard 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, nothing really fancy, but it works, you know, see, good. And for devices, pretty much managed to fix all the device errors on this that I had on this machine, and the only errors that I have not, whoops, that's not what I wanted, the only things that I have not fixed was the, um, uh, here, this is the only thing I don't know what it is. I don't know what the heck that is. I really don't. PCI Simple Communications device. I would assume that it would be some sort of phone modem, but there's no phone modem present on here or any sort of communications device. So I don't entirely know what that is, actually. That's, that's kind of interesting to me. It seems to run fine without it, so... Oh well. I don't run, no, it doesn't really matter, you know. If it runs fine without it, then it runs fine without it. Screw it. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.